Hello everyone, we are now in our part 17 in algebra. Okay, so in this part, I'll be discussing all about uh, partial fraction decomposition. Okay, um, ano ba yung partial fraction decomposition? That is uh, the uh, uh, solving the sum or difference of fractions if the given is the simplified form. Parang ganito ba? Um, if we are to make it in terms of numbers, let's say, no? uh, let's say, inad yung 3, 8, at saka 7 over 5. If we're to add this, the sum is equal to uh, 41, or the difference is equal to 41 over 40. Now, in partial fraction decomposition, it's like uh, making that negative 41 over 40 into sum of fractions. So that is equal to 3 over 8 uh, minus 7 over 5 or plus negative 7 over 5. So ganun yan. Now, uh, to do the partial fraction decomposition, if factor natin yung um, denominator. Now, but of course, no, in partial fraction decomposition, we'll be discussing expressions, no, algebraic expressions, not just numbers. Well, there are four different cases in partial fraction decomposition. Uh, let me discuss the first two muna. The first one is when the denominator contains linear factors, none of which are repeated. So if a linear factor ax plus b occurs once as a factor of the denominator of the given fraction, then corresponding to this factor, associate a partial fraction a over x a over ax plus b, where a is a constant not equal to zero. Uh, for example, this one. No? If we have this, x plus 4 over x plus 7 times 2x minus 1. So as we see, uh, these are linear binomials. No linear, siya. there is no square. No? Uh, the degree is 1. So we can write that into this partial fractions. a over x plus 7 plus b over 2x minus 1. Okay? And the mission here is to determine the corresponding numerators of these partial fractions, no A and B. So, ganun yan. Well, later na lang ako magbigay ng example. Let me just discuss muna, no? Well, yung case 2 naman is when the fraction contains denominators which are linear factors and some are repeating, no? Linear factors, some of which are repeated. If a linear factor AX plus B occurs P times, for example, that linear factor, this linear factor is squared or cubed, or ito yung squared or cubed, no? So if it occurs P times as a factor of the denominator of the given fraction, then corresponding to this factor, associate the partial fractions As follows, ito, a sub 1 over ax plus b plus a sub 2 over ax plus b quantity squared and so on. That means, mag-continue tayo dyan, a sub 3 over ax plus b cubed up to a sub p over ax plus b raised to p. Now, if nag-repeat yung denominator, no, I mean, uh, isang linear factor, nag-repeat siya twice or more than twice, no? more than once. So, of course, a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub p are constants and um, a sub p is not equal to 0. Maybe some of these is 0, no, a sub 2 is 0, a sub 1 is 0, a sub 3 is 0, but that a sub p, the numerator of the last fraction must not be 0. Okay? Um, example, eto, 3x minus 1 all over x plus 4 quantity squared is equal to a over x plus 4 uh, plus b over x plus 4 squared. So as you see, uh, kasi squared ito, di ba? Uh, meron ganyan, meron din ganyan. Parang ganito lang yan, no? Um, let's say, no, um, i-add natin yung 3 fourth at saka 3, uh, no, let's say 5 over 8. Okay, then, ano pa ba? Ayan, gan ganun lang. So if i-add natin to the result is 11 over 8, no? Now, the factors of 8 are uh, 2, okay? 
uh, if we were to write that into its uh, prime factorization, 8 is 2 cubed, no? So uh, 2 repeats 3 times, okay? So if we are to rewrite 11 into its partial fraction, so parang grito siya, A over 2 plus B over 2 squared plus C over 2 cubed, no? And solving for this, no, makakuha natin that A should be 0, okay? And B should be equal to 3, and C should be equal to 5. So, ganun yan, if we are dealing with numbers. But again, um, we are dealing with expressions dito, okay? Now, my example, another example pala, ito din, no? Um, 5x squared minus 2 all over x cubed times x plus 2 quantity squared. So as you see, x is uh, raised to 3. That's linear, no? Raised to 3. So we should make it uh, a over x plus b over x squared plus c over x cubed. Dapat cube ito, no? This one. And eto for x plus 1, uh, this is squared. So plus d over x plus 1 plus e over x plus 1 quantity squared. So uh, the numerators are just constants, no? Uh, it could be that this is zero. It could be that this is zero, but this cannot be zero. Okay, that should be a, a constant value, no? Because highest degree, siya, no? X cube. And ito may be zero, this d, but this a must not be zero. Okay, so ganun yan. A example tayo. Uh, let's say ito. Solve for a and b in the given partial fraction 3x minus 1 all over x squared plus x minus 6, and that is equal to a over x plus 3 minus b, uh, plus b uh, over x minus 2. Uh, plus pala yan dapat. Okay, so dito, this is already written in its decomposition, no? Um, as we see, the factors of this denominator, x squared plus x minus 6, are this, x plus 3 times x minus 2. That means if we are to multiply these denominators, it should become equal to this denominator. Tama, no? So that's why it can be written into this form. In the board exam, sometimes, um, binibigay na yung decomposition niya, that means binibigay na yung ito, ganito, uh, minsan din, uh, tayo yung mag, ano, solve ng decomposition. No? Uh, like, yung ibibigay lang is this uh, rational expression, this fraction. And tayo minsan yung mag-factor sa denominator. Okay, anyway, in this case, uh, given na already yung composition, we just have to solve for A and B. Now, how to solve for that? Okay, dito tayo. I'm going to use this. So, 3x minus 1 over x squared plus x minus 6. And that is equal to A over x plus 3 plus B over x minus 2. So, anong una natin gagawin dito? Well, ganito yan. Um, for us to solve for A and B, we have to multiply both sides by the LCM of these denominators, least common multiple. And that is, of course, this. Okay? Uh, multiply both sides. No? Solution tayo. Uh, multiply both sides by... x squared plus x minus 6 or um, x plus 3 times x minus 2. Yan yung i-multiply natin uh, sa both sides of this equation. So, if we are to do it so, i-copy ako muna ito. Okay. Multiplying this side uh, by that x squared uh, by this Okay, and this side naman, multiplying that by this, you know, these are just the same, not these two. So, multiplying it by this, uh, as we see, maka-cancel natin yung x squared plus x minus 6, no? So, that leaves us 3x minus 1 at the left side, and dito at the right side, that is a times what? Um, maka-cancel yung x plus 3, no? Maka-cancel ito, okay? So, that leaves us x minus 2. Then plus uh, B, uh, dito yung makansa naman is X minus 2. So that leaves us that X plus 3. Okay. okay. Nawala yung B. Now, 
what shall we do? What shall we do here? Ganito yan. If we want to solve for a, there are two unknowns. No, x is a variable, but this is just this is an identity. No, so uh, any value of x must uh, satisfy dito. No, except for x equal to negative three and x equal to two. No, in the original equation. No, ganon yan. Uh, that is an identity. So um, the only variables here are a and b. No, these are the only variables. Now, to solve for a, we've got to make this be. Uh, neglected, no, and that is by making this x equal to negative 3. Okay, so let x be equal to negative 3. Diba? If maging negative 3 yan, negative 3 plus 3 magiging 0, so that makes us ano, uh, cancel this, no, Ma ignore yan, and that leaves a as the only variable. So making x equal to 3, negative 3, 3 times negative 3 minus 1, and that is equal to a times negative 3 minus 2 plus b times uh, negative 3 plus 3. Again, uh, that makes this term 0. No? So yung matira na lang is a. So that a is equal to this 3 times negative 3 uh, minus 1 and all over this negative 3 minus 2. And that gives us a equal to 2. So that is the value of A. Now, B naman. Okay? Uh, to solve for B, uh, if balik tayo dito, now, to solve for this, uh, why did we are to make X equal to 2? No, so that maging 0 ito, so that ma-ignore natin to. No? Uh, let X equal to positive 2. Okay? So, I'm doing so 3 times 2. Uh, minus 1 is equal to uh, a times x minus 2 or 2 minus 2 plus p times 2 plus 3. Okay? So that makes this term 0. I'm ignore natin yan. So that p is equal to 3 times 2 minus 1 uh, all over 2 plus 3. Okay? Uh, the 2 plus 3 is this. No? So solving for it. That is equal to 1. Okay ba? Or, pwede rin, uh, since we already got A, no, pwede rin that we are to let um, X be equal to any of the, uh, any of, any number, no? Uh, pwede hindi equal to 2. Uh, as long as you're going to solve or to use A, no? Since we already got it. For example, we are to make X equal to 0. Pwede ba yun? Yes, no? But making X equal to 0, uh, that's 3 times 0 minus 1 is equal to a, uh, we already got as 2, times 0 minus 2 uh, plus p times 0 plus 3. Okay, we are making x as 0 dito, ha, but we have to use a. No? So that b must be equal to this. Now, um, here, 0 naman lang yan. b is negative 1. Okay, ito yun. Then ito, uh, if we were to evaluate this, this is negative 4. Transfer to the other side, magiging positive 4. Then over this 3. No? So that gives us the same, the b equal to 1. So okay lang mag-assume ng any value of uh, x no, aside from um, 2 as long as uh, na-solve na yung a. And you're going to use that. No? So ganun. Easy lang ba? So, ibig sabihin yan, the partial fraction decomposition is this. Uh, 3x minus 1 all over x squared plus x minus 6 is equal to uh, 2 um, over x plus 3 plus 1 over x minus 2. So, ganun yan. Okay, so this is the answer. Okay, you might want to um, take a note. Huh? So, um, ito. And ito. So, ipos-pos nyo lang. Okay? Now, uh, ibig sabihin nito, if we are to expand this, uh, let me try, ha? I'm gonna expand this. I think uh, the MATCAD has... Ano, if expand ko ito, or i-factor, so as you see, the, denom the numerator uh, goes back to the original given fraction, 3x minus 1. 
So, ganun yan. No? If E combine natin. And if the denominator is expanded, that should become x squared plus x minus 6. Okay? So, ganun yan. No? Pwede rin, I'm gonna try using the partial fraction function. Nito. Use the partial fraction. Okay, next problem tayo. Ito. Uh, Solve the partial fraction decomposition of this fraction. 7x squared plus 22x plus 53 all over 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 11x minus 6. Okay, now, I want you to try to take a pause no, and solve it by your own muna. No? And let's try if uh, we could get the same result. Okay? But I'm going to proceed na ha. So, dito, uh, as you see, the denominator is not yet uh, written in factored form. No? Uh, we do not even know if this is factorable. Well, to find that out, uh, pwede natin gamitin yung um, calculator. No? Um, ganito. Okay, let me write the given muna. The given, 7x squared plus 22x plus 53 all over 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 11x minus 6. Okay. Solution. So, ang unang gagawin natin is we're going to um, write this in a factored form. And to do so, we are to solve for the roots or the values of x. No? Uh, we discussed that in our level 3, no? how to evaluate that using Canon calculator. Okay, so using this. Okay, uh, ano nga yung gagawin? Mode 5, then down. No? Um, eto, cubic, so 2. So, input lang natin, 2, 3, negative 11, and negative 6. Okay? So, what are the roots? The first root, x sub 1, is equal to 2. How about the x sub 2? Uh, that is equal to negative 1 half. Okay? And x sub 3 is equal to negative 3. Now, uh, what does this mean? Well, that means if we are to write this in the factored form, okay, the factored form of this is x minus 2, right? That comes from x equal to 2. Then, eto, um, for the next one, for the second one, uh, this should be 2x plus 1, okay? And for the third factor, this should be x plus 3. We're try to expand this. That should go back to this, no? Uh, expand ko yan, ha? Okay. Uh, as you see, it goes back to that denominator, no? So, tama nga. That is its uh, factor. Okay. Now, uh, ibig sabihin yan, if i rewrite natin to, no, into a factored form, a factored form yung denominator, uh, that is equal to this, then the denominator is this. Okay? And rewriting this into its decomposition, uh, this is equal to uh, a over x minus 2 plus b over 2x plus 1 plus c over x plus 3. Now, take note that uh, pwede that ma-interchange mo ito. No? Like, pwede that mauna ka sa 2x plus 1 instead of x minus 2. Bale, pwede that yung maging numerator ng 2x plus 1 is a. Okay? As long as, uh, if you're to solve for the values of a and b respectively, makuha mo yung uh, respective correct answers nila. No? Kung ano talaga dapat yung numerator that corresponds to x minus 2, numerator that corresponds to x plus 1, and numerator that corresponds to x plus 3. Now, after that, ang gagawin natin is that we're going to multiply both sides by this. No? Uh, multiply 
both sides by yan so di ba upon multiplying both sides by this uh, makancel yung denominator and that leaves us this numerator at the right side okay so that is equal to uh, a times 2x plus no no, no. Uh, i-examine muna natin multiplying this by this ano yung makancel di ba makancel yung x minus 2 no so that leaves us this no so that means that is 8 times that okay so ganun yan next dito naman sa b naman tayo uh, sa b so if we are to multiply this by this makancel yung 2x plus 1 so yung matira na lang x minus 2 at saka x plus 3 so we are to multiply that b by x minus 2 times uh, x plus 3 okay ba and for c okay um, yung makancel naman dito is this x plus 3 right so that leaves us this denominator so that is uh, x minus 2 times 2x plus 1 and okay Now, after that, uh, anong gagawin natin? So, we are now to solve for A, B, and C. Okay? Now, to do that, um, to, to solve for A first, dapat we must make these terms uh, neglected. No? Uh, that is by multiplying them by zero. And for these terms to become zero, dapat, uh, diba, as you see, ang common sa, nil, uh, sa kanila is this x minus 2. So, the root niyan is x equal to 2, right? So, upon making this x equal to 2, makancel yung terms na ito. No? Uh, matira na lang na variable is a. So, let x be equal to uh, 2. O, tignan mo lang yung denominator ng a. Denominator ng a is x minus 2. No? So, making x equal to 2. Uh, yan yung key. Uh, for this case, at least. no. Uh, for uh, another case, uh, you cannot do that. No? Kung ano yung denominator, like gagawin mo lang ganyan. No? Uh, there are times na hindi siya pwede. But in this case, uh, yan yung gagawin. So, uh, this will become 7 times 2 squared plus 22 times 2 plus 53. And that is equal to A uh, times uh, 2 times 2 plus 1 times 2 plus 3 okay, plus B times 2 minus 2. So, makancel yan, no? Uh, 2 plus 3. Pwede nga hindi na lang i-write yan, no? Pero isulat ko na lang. No? So, 2 minus 2 times um, 2 times 2 plus 1. Okay. So, again, that makes these terms 0, no? That x equal to 2. So, yung matira na lang is a. Uh, solving for a, that is equal to 7 times 2 squared. Uh, let me copy this na lang, Okay this as the numerator over over this okay so evaluating that uh, we can have five so a is equal to five did you get that did you get that correctly now try naman tayo sa b uh, to solve for b and dapat the value of x must make these uh, terms zero no and that is ano yung common nila uh, tingnan natin yung denominator ng x denominator ay lang b 2x plus 1 yung denominator so x is equal to negative 1 half diba making x equal to negative 1 half uh, that will make this uh, binomials 0 no ito din or these terms 0 so let x be equal to negative 1 half okay so this will become uh, i-copy ako na lang yan i-copy ako na lang ito no Uh, making x equal to negative one half. So this is negative one half. Okay, uh, this as well. And ito, 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 ito din, at saka ito din. Okay, so again, makakancel to. This will become zero. This as well will become zero. So yung matira dyan, this okay um, 
Ito ha, B na lang yung matira na. B is equal to this. Okay? Um, over this. Okay? So, I'm letting the uh, matcad solve for it na lang. No? So, solving for B, it gives me negative 7. Okay ba? Okay. Uh, did you get that correctly? I hope you did, no? So, next naman. How about for C? Well, for C, um, let tayo X be equal to um, negative 3, no? Uh, so that these terms will become 0, okay? Um, ganun. So, negative 3. Or you may make that equal to any of the numbers, any numbers, no, except negative 3, or except except um, 2 at saka negative 1 half, now let's say 0 or 1, uh, to solve for C, as long as you're going to use the calculated values of A and B. No pwede yan. So, evaluate ko yan dito. I'm gonna copy this. Making X equal to negative 3. So, doing substitution. Negative 3. Ito, negative 3. Negative 3. Negative 3. Negative 3. Negative 3, negative 3, negative 3. Okay. So again, uh, that negative 3 will make this term 0. So that term is 0. Uh, this as well now will make this 0. So this term is 0. So C is equal to this, uh, this uh, left side, okay, over this, over this. Okay. And. So, solving for C, that gives me 2. Okay ba? So, ibig sabihin yan, uh, the partial fraction, the composition of this. Uh -huh. Sorry for that. Is equal to, uh, what, what was the value of A again? Uh, what did we get? 5 now, so it's 5. This B naman is negative 7. Or, pwede, ito yung gagawin nating negative, this, this one, no? So, making this now uh, minus 7 over 2x plus 1, then this c is 2. Okay, so ganun yan. Now, let me check. Now, if I'm gonna make it into its partial fraction decomposition using the matcad. Uh, correct nga, 5 over x minus 2 minus 7 over 2x plus 1 plus 2 over x plus 3. Uh, checking lang ito. Okay? So, easy lang. Lang. Now, actually, um, pwede natin ma-solve yung A, B, and C uh, right away no? or um, in a short time lang after you have written this. Okay, if ma-multiply mo na siya both side by this, uh, ito, uh, na-write na mo na ito like this. Now, pwede that you are to input this in your calculator, no, mode 1. Okay, so I'm gonna input that ha, and follow me. 7x squared uh, plus 22x, follow this, okay, plus 53 uh, equal. If you don't have this canon yet, no, you may just use the 570 ES muna or the 91 ES plus. So A times 2x plus 1, okay, use A, then x plus 3. Then plus P, so use P naman dito, follow me talaga, um, X minus 2 times X plus 3, okay, then plus C um, times uh, X minus 2, then times 2X uh, plus 1. Now, before ka mag-proceed, ganito yan. We are to solve for A, B, and C. But of course, one at a time muna. No, uh, let's start with A. If we want to solve for A, lagyan natin yan ng comma, then A. Okay? So, ganun. So, if you haven't uh, tried it yet, no, uh, input nyo muna using any of the Canon or the Casio 570S+. Plus, no? So, after that, gagawin nyo, shift AC. Joke, not shift AC. Shift calc. Because we are to solve for A, no? Now, it asks for XX. So, ano yung dapat i-input natin? Diba? We got 
x kanina, uh, a kanina, uh, when we made x equal to 2. So, yan yung gagawin natin. Now, what makes these terms b and c no, equal to 0? So, that is x equal to 2. Or what is the denominator of a, the root of the denominator of a? That is 2. So, make that 2 equal. Then, simply ignore the values of b and c, the initial values of b and c. Okay? Ignore them. No, kahit ano yung anjan dyan, no? Kasi maniglek lang man, no? Uh, solve for A and it gives me 5. Okay? So, do that, no? And if we are to solve for B naman, uh, we just have to go back dito, no? Um, press this, then click that, I mean, delete that, and change that to B. Okay? Uh, dito, B naman yung i-calc natin. So, shift calc, it asks for X again. So, what should be the value of X to solve for B? Well, um, again, we, we got B when we made X equal to negative one half. And uh, yan din yung gagawin natin. Now, suppose we haven't uh, tried it yet. No? Let's say, hindi pa natin nakuha ito. At yung pag-solve natin ng A, B, and C is using this no? right away. No? Without even doing this, okay, or solving that, uh, titignan mo lang yung denominator. Ano yung root ng denominator niya? Again, that's negative one half. Okay, so x equal to negative one half. So a is five. Uh, you may ignore that. No, kahit wala pa yan, kahit zero pa yan. Uh, C ignore yan. Then solve for b. It gives me the exact value, negative seven. And of course, if C naman yung i-calculate. Delete yan, change that to C, no? and shift calc again. And dito, um, since we already got A and B, pwede ka na mag-assume ng any value of X. No, let's say I'm going to make this 0. No, I don't have to make that equal uh, that X equal to negative 3 just to solve for C. Pwede lang kahit na ano except for 2 and negative 1 half. No? Um, as long as A and B are already solved. Okay, I want you to understand that. So, uh, A is 5. No, it's already solved. B is negative 7. It's already solved. No, then C, it gives me equal to 2. Now, that's what we also got kanina. Okay, or you just, you may just uh, make that X equal to negative 3 if you like to. So that you would really get that. No, uh, ganyan. Uh, parang ganito din. For example, uh, yung last na lang is B and you already got A and C. So if you want to solve for B, uh, you may make X equal to 0. No? Uh, or any. Bisag, uh, kahit ano pa yan, 1,000 pa yan. As long as A and C are already there. No? Are already solved. So B, A is 5. C is, also, uh, C is 2. Okay? They are the correct values. And solving for B, uh, magbibigay talaga yan ng exact value. Okay? So this is the first uh, case. Okay, mag-stop muna ako dito. Uh, continue tayo sa second case later. But uh, for those who want to take a note dito, so take a pause and write this down. Then, after that, dito naman, take a pause and write that down. Then, dito naman, uh, take a pause and write it down. Okay, or um, i-review nyo lang yung video, no, to, if hindi nyo na-catch up yun. Okay, so uh, see you sa next video.